Well, these people do whatever they want to in our skies. People don't care. Your people are sheep being led to the meatpacking house. And you deserve it. You know, the only thing that could save your life is a... If your life was on the line, the only thing that could save your life is a questionnaire about keeping up with the Kardashians. That's all you people know, most of you. I'm so sorry that that's the fact. But these people are spraying lying chemical contrails in our skies. And it turns into this white, terrible haze. Just terrible. People are so blind. Those are all horizontal chemical contrails they spray. And you can see the, the chemical contrail halo going around the sun. The moon has the same effect at night. I just can't, I don't know if I'm getting it on film now. Well, you can see a metallic halo around the sun. I believe that's because of the heavy metals that they spray on us. You got these, you got horizontal chemical contrails running in to these claw-like chemical contrails they spray. And they turn them on and off. Okay, and that right there, the sun will go right down through it. By the time the sun gets there, that'll be spread out. And of course, within the next 45 minutes, they will come through hardcore spraying. This is terrible. People are so... Just so ignorant and distracted. And I, I want to say another thing. You know, a couple years ago, I had an incident where I almost died. I had an aneurysm, a head injury, okay? And the place I was in was like the YMCA. I was in the bathroom, and the, the floor was a little dirty. And looking back on it now, I realized I almost died on a dirty floor trying to maybe show off for some girls when I got my own weights. But anyway, people people think that, like, when you die, if you're a Christian, if you believe in the Lord, that you go, your spirit goes with the Lord, of course. Absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. You know, the spirit is like electricity. It goes right, it goes back to its source. Okay, now, the thing is, when you... When that happened to me, they had to hit me with a defibrillator three times. And, and when I came conscious in the hospital, I was in the hospital about 30 days. And about two days before I left, I remembered this like vision I had. I believe it was before they hit me with the defibrillators that I went to, I was in heaven in an upper place. And there was a big spirit and a little spirit. I had a little brother that passed away 30 years ago. But I didn't recognize the little spirit when I was there. It was only later, back in the real world, that I, rec I, I realized who that was. But the big spirit, I couldn't make out the image. There were no details of the image. The only way I could recognize that was Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Hamashiach, was the immense an overwhelming feeling of love that emanated from the Spirit upon me. Love and forgiveness and the worthiness I felt from being forgiven by the Lord is so overwhelming. There's a few verses in the Bible that say that, you know, there's spirits that worship the Lord day and night without cease. And I remember thinking, geez, man, I don't want to have to be worshiping God all day, every day. But, and, and, and people would normally think that. But when you, see how they spread out? When you're in the presence of such joy, such love, such forgiveness, such worthiness, this, this feeling cannot be described on earth, okay? When I felt that, I had no thought or reco recollection of anything on earth and I wanted to stay all I wanted to do was draw near to the spirit of the Lord and that's when like 
it, it got thicker in front of me. I couldn't. I was stopped, and it, and I was communicated that you got to go back. You know, see how that does? <laughs> Spreading out in the white haze, a big claw in the sky. But when you're in the presence of such love and joy and forgiveness, you want to worship. You have to express that. And you just might find yourself worshiping the Lord, bowing down and standing up and doing whatever. Because the, there is no drug, there is no feeling on the earth that I have experienced that could even come close to the joy and the love that emanates from the Lord when you're in His presence. I believe it was the Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ. I, I, you know, I don't know, it could have been an angel, but I think it was the Lord and it was my little brother. And when someone dies and goes to heaven, they are, first of all, they would never, if they were given a chance to come back to this realm, this three-dimensional physical reality, they would not. Because I know I didn't care about my, I didn't even think about my mom or anything on earth or anything I had or any relative. All I wanted to do was stay with the Lord because the love that came off of Him and the forgiveness of my sins and the acceptance was so overwhelming. It was like, what? Anything on earth would be one grain of sand, and being with the Lord is like all the sands of all the deserts and beaches. You don't think about that. It's just not in your head when you're in the presence of the Lord. When you're in eternity, you don't think. I didn't think about it. I did not want to come back. I just wanted to go to the Lord and stay with Him. And that feeling is so overwhelming. You know, so people who die and they go with the Lord. If you gave them a chance, they would not come back. And anybody that says different's a liar, they're lying to you. You see this horrendous stuff? Look at that. Oh, oh, that's normal. That's water vapor. Yeah. Stupid. Keep believing. What do you think that is? Clouds don't form that way. We don't. That's like fog in the sky. That is a blanket of white haze. It's not normal, stupids. Stupid people. This is all white haze produced by man and these damn things. This is how, you see that spreading out. Rewind the tape. It's doing what it was designed to do. Okay? And you're doing what you were designed to do, which is to instantaneously believe everything Wikipedia, everything Google says. So I've decided to save myself a lot of time, trouble, and legality is to not argue with or debate anyone when I come to realize that they have no idea what they're talking about, like about the Bible, when they've never even read one chapter. These are what you call casual Christians. They know John 3.16, but not much else. You know, They don't know the personality of God as described in the Old Testament. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see this? This is horrendous. This is terrible what they're doing in our skies. Okay? And they call it Operation Solar Shield. But I'm not going to argue with people that don't know what they're talking about. Because I can tell them till I'm blue in the face what the Bible says. But they cannot corroborate it in their mind saying, oh yeah, I read that. Because they never read it. So what these casual Christians do is they make up their own religion about Jesus and God and how God is and what he forgives and what he allows and how heaven is. You know, I had one person trying to tell me that we're going to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in heaven. And I said, I don't think so. You're not going to have the, the organs to urinate or go defecate. We're not going to do that, okay? It irritates me because there's verse in the Bible about the tree of life and beautiful fruit on it. We're going to have spiritual bodies, okay? People just don't read the Bible. They make up their own religion. They make up their own Jesus Christ. And there are things in the Bible that Jesus Christ says that are hard that are hard to read. When I first read the Bible in its entirety, I, I was like, what I do? Now I know a lot of stuff that I didn't know before. Like Jesus says, if you love your mother or father more than him, you're not worthy for heaven. And go look it up. I'm not going to argue with you. It's in the Bible. 
okay? There's so many things he said that are kind of hard. And, and when I read passage that says the road to righteousness is very narrow and the road to everlasting shame and perdition is wider than wide can be, I know. There's not a lot of people going to heaven because they just don't know what they're talking about. Okay, like if you're a person that has a mental disability, I believe God knows the heart and he knows the person and they are accepted. You know, young people are accepted. God knows the heart. You can never judge a book by its cover. The Bible tells us not to do that. And I believe God is very forgiven and full of mercy. And he knows the future. You know, like if someone had their life cut short because of man, the evil of men, that we must ha suffer because of them. That's why we're to draw near to the Lord and seek his protection. And he will draw near to you and provide it. But he knows the future if someone would have turned around and, and went to him. You know? This is horrible. People just, this is, we're under attack. People can't see it. Give it another 20 minutes, that'll just turn into white haze. And no one will know. No one will realize they sprayed this crap out of airplanes. Stupid.